Here we are in Hollywood, California at the Hollywood Museum for the Thalians Winter Gala. The Thalians is an organization that works with UCLA Operation Men to help military who come back not only with their body, but their mind and their spirit. It's a wonderful cause. We're going to be talking to Todd Fisher, Jolie Fisher, Trish Fisher, uh, many others including Ruta Lee, and we're honoring Dr. Phil himself. So stay tuned. Here we are with Patrika Darbo at the Thalians Winter Gala. Yes, I'm so excited. Uh, Frank Sheftel, our president, did a wonderful job putting it together. Um, uh, uh, Dini Dadigan, who put this together and let us use the museum. It's just going to be a wonderful event. And the Thalians raised money for Operation Men at UCLA to take care of our returning vets that may have mental issues. Um, and uh, it's just an important thing. Yeah, it's so wonderful. And you're on the board as well, correct? Yes, thank you. I was asked to be on the board and I gratefully accepted. Um, and we're honoring Dr. Phil tonight and we're having some special guests. I think, who's hosting tonight? Um, you, oh, well, Trisha Fisher and her sister. Um, I mean, there's a band going on. It's going to be so much fun. And there'll be dinner, dancing, and exquisite food. We had a tasting. It was unbelievable. So, you know, and we got a bar on every floor. We have hors d'oeuvres being passed. It's just and you get to see the museum, which people, a lot of people haven't had the opportunity to do. So come on by the museum if you get a chance. Well, thank you so much. And, um, and obviously you're on days and have been on days. And hopefully we'll see you back there soon. Oh, I hope so really soon, too. It's been wonderful. We're getting ready to have our Christmas event. And so if anything else I can say is sign up for Peacock. You can watch days, morning, noon, and night. Well, you look beautiful. Have fun tonight. Thank you, darling. I'll see you later. Thank Take care. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, love that. So, um, first of all, how wonderful that the legacy is continuing that your mother and sister obviously were involved with. How wonderful. Exactly. My mom, you know, Carrie and I were brought up around this cause. When we were little tiny kids, my, my mom brought some children over that were that were had handicaps, mental handicaps. And my sister and I were like, what's this all about? You know, and at the time, no one knew Carrie was bipolar. Uh, so it's sort of fortuitous that she would have helped to found this, this, this cause. And, you know, for decades, this was one of her major passions. When she won the Jean Herschel Academy Award, this, one of the reasons she got that was because of this work. And they have helped so many people. I can't tell how many people walk up to me from little children to, to soldiers, veterans, etc., cetera, that, that have been affected in a positive way by the work that she laid down so long ago. You know, you, you can't always say everything you put your hand to goes on for decades. And, and so, you know, the cool thing is there's younger people kind of stepping into this too. I, I got my half sister, she's involved in this. And, you know, I came in just, I think my mom would have been pissed if I didn't, so I came. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, she, she, she was funny because my mother was an expert at pressing people into service. And, and she would, if you, if you were to hold back, she, she would guilt trip you like nobody's business. You know, like if you said, oh, I'm just too tired or whatever, she'd be like, I'm twice your age and I'm doing this. So get your ass out of bed and come down here and help out. Okay. So I just felt, I felt like I heard that echoing somewhere in the cosmos. And I, I got in my car and drove in from Vegas. I am so glad you came, Todd. I, I know she'd be so proud of you as well. We were lucky to, um, I did the Miss Burbank pageant and had the, oh. the luck to, she came and spoke with us. So she was just an amazing woman. And still, you know, her legacy lives on. And so tell me what this pin means to you right here. Well, this pin, you want me to get in close so you can get a shot of it? I'll pull in if you want. If that helps you at all. I mean, it's worth a cutaway because it's, it's kind of a... I won't tell the story until she gets her shot, then I'll go back. Yeah, you're a director, we know well, I, You are. We'll get your coverage. I, no, I love <laughs> okay. it. Thank you. Okay, so the significance of the pin is that during we, uh, we put this together during the memorial when my sister and mother passed away, and this pin is enamel, and it, you can see it's got Singing in the Rain and Carrie and Star Wars, and they're walking off together. And it was it was um, designed by a handicapped man, and, and he drew the drawing and I saw it and I just flipped. I thought, oh, that's just perfect. And so we made it into a pen and the proceeds during the memorial went to the Thalians. Uh, and and, and, so, and uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's just a memory pen. And I try to, uh, when I go out and do something about them, I'll bring out the pen. And I know a lot of people have them. I mean, there actually were quite a few 
put out there. I suppose we should do it again. You know, that should be in the gift shop now that I think about it. I just I, I think that would be great. Well, I, I have Oh, you happen to have one. So in the gift shop here, uh, a lot of things from my mom's estate have come here to help uh, raise money for this cause. We have a lot of stuff, uh, but this would be a good one, right? You know, a little, you know, it's, it's cute. Yeah. Well, it's a good collectible and there aren't a million of them around, so it's not like, you know, but it, but it also symbolizes something quite remarkable. The two of them became uh, famous at 19 years old. Uh, the two of them, in a way, were uh, in a movie that was uh, the most important film in that genre. My mother being in Singing in the Rain, I think probably one of the most important musicals. And then Carrie being, of course, the Star Wars' most important science fiction film, arguably. And, and that's kind of an interesting little parallel. And so that it represents that. But it also, more than anything, represents all the things they stood for. You know, this cause and other causes that were, you know, for, 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 for people that needed some help. Uh, but also for people like, you know, they were symbols of strong girls kick-ass girls they were you know and and as you know Carrie was pretty famous for not taping any s off of anybody and my mother was similar so oh, great here's Ruta oh, 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 oh. hi Ruta hi how are you oh your hands are so cold yeah, it's okay I'll warm up once I get okay. in okay I will but I want to say hi to Ruta oh my god <laughs> I was just talking about you you were yes just yes. bragging about you and they were saying you were bragging about me what I'm I so said, pleased well listen, come on let's do this on what, camera what I said was is I said like when I told you I was coming in and I said but I really have to get back and then you said, well, you have to stay and eat. Your mom would be mad if I didn't feed you. <laughs> so I, I think that was what you said, wasn't I it? I think that's what I said. But you also wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to come in my uh, flip-flops. And, <laughs> uh, and she, she, so just like a mom. And she's pretty much the only mom I got left in the that's group in, right. on, on this earth. That's right, darling. That's right. Well, yes. I'm his Auntie Ruta. Auntie Ruta. And I'm so proud to be that. Debbie's best friend, and, and she True. was certainly mine. And we adored each other, and uh, we shared a lot of grief together, but most of it we laughed through. And if there's one thing I learned from Debbie, it was you can ask anybody in this world for anything, providing it isn't for yourself. And yes. that's the whole point of our charity. Isn't that true? I have no shame about asking for somebody to dig deep for either $5 or $500 or 500000 but... It's not for me, it's for the good of our returning veterans who put their lives on the line for us every day in hell holes that we send them to, and then they come back and don't get the best of what we have to offer, but sometimes fall through the cracks. Bruta is the champion of all champions of getting people to come out and do stuff. And my mother, you learned from her, or did you teach? I sure did. my mother, people, when my mother would call people, they would just go, oh my, you know, you couldn't say no. Right? She just That's would right. not allow That's it. That's right. There, because you feel like a heel. Yes. It, it, it's like, I remember one time she wanted me to do some event, and I said, oh, I'm just really tired. She goes, I'm half your age. Get off your ass. You know, you guys, <laughs> like, all right. I mean, it was like no saying no for a yeah, cause. Absolutely. I love what you said, though. That's that's awesome, that, that if it's for somebody else, you can't somebody say else. no. That's, that's the lesson I learned from I her. love that. That's a great lesson. Yes, it is. And, and it's one that I have lived with forever and ever. Well, so we love you. I mean, is she not the most beautiful woman? Oh, thank you. I'm a very old lady, so no, thank no. you. <laughs> you, you, you. It's all about the inside, right? Yeah. Yeah. It always inside and out of her. Thank you. You're very kind. No. But thank you for this lovely visit with your audience, and may I wish everybody a very merry Christmas, happy holidays, and above all, please God, a better New Year. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you guys so much. God bless. Thank you. Hi. It's so exciting to meet you. Thank you. Um, so you're here tonight with the Thalians, obviously for the Thalians and Dr. Phil. Um, how are you feeling about tonight? Um, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm a, a plus one tonight. So I'm accompanying a friend of mine. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And um, now, do you live in the California area? In Los Angeles area, yeah. I live uh, in Topanga. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, not too far. Do you have any special plans for the holidays? Um, I'm looking for a place to train my dogs. So, uh, yeah, so I'm reaching out to friends and seeing where I might be able to go and train. Uh, I've got a friend in Austin. Uh, my mentor in dog training is up in Toronto. Um, or no, no, Ontario. Uh, so maybe go up there. I don't know. 
So is that something you're doing now? Yeah, yeah, I train dogs as well as speak, and yeah, I'm pretty, uh, depends on the day. I don't know what the hell I do. <laughs> I love that. No, very diverse. That's wonderful. And, um, you know, we're doing a little something different on our, we're, we're wondering what's like a wellness tip, especially obviously an Olympian. What, what's, what's a wellness tip that you would tell people? Wellness tip is get out and move. You know, when, if, if you're feeling a little down or anything, get moving. Go outside, enjoy nature, uh, just take, taking it all in. I mean, I'm, my, my lifeline is really my dogs. You know, they get me up in the morning, they get me going, and um, they're just really uh, incredible support and give me the unconditional love that, that I need sometimes. Yeah. Well, have fun tonight. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. So, first of all, love your dress. <gasps> Thank you. I figured it's a gala. I do a little sparkle. <laughs> ah, it's just beautiful, lovely. Thank you. So, um, we're here with for the Thalians. What an amazing cause! Um, absolutely, I'm happy to be here to support. And um, you know what was funny is I, um, you know how all these things come up on Facebook. I've started watching Bewitched, and and. Um, I watched it obviously, you know, when I was growing up, loved it. So what was it like working on that set? Oh gosh, it was it was the only life I knew. I grew up there, so it was fun. I mean, I worked with wonderful people and it was a fun show to be on. We had magic and animals and it was great. And then, um, and what are you, uh, any projects that you can talk about that you're working on now? Um, I just narrated a documentary, but I can't talk about it yet, but it's gonna be on TV. Um, in a couple months, I can't say anything. <laughs> NDA. <laughs> okay, well that's wonderful. And uh, so have a wonderful time today and we'll see you soon. Absolutely, great to see you. <laughs> Here we are at the Thalians. You know, I don't think I've got to interview you ever. I'm not sure. I mean, I see you all the time, so I'm so excited to interview you. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, well then, uh, now's my chance to bore you then. So, yeah. no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so, um, so tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I'm a director, but uh, I grew up uh, as an actor. Um, I was in, uh, I was on the old Bob Newhart show, the original. I was Little Howie, and then I was way, way before that. I was a regular on Rona Martin's Laughing. But as I grew up, I was, uh, I played John Denver's son in Oh God, and um, gosh, I went on to do Family Ties and all ki all kinds of stuff. American Hot Wax, uh, Hollywood Nights. These are movies. Yeah, yeah. And now you're directing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love directing. Yeah. And um, we're here at the Hollywood Museum. It's such an amazing place, and they're doing this fabulous Thalians event. Yes, yes. I'm really happy to be here. I think um, you you can't you can't bring uh, enough awareness to this cause. Yeah, yeah. So where can people find you on social media? Well, um, basically Facebook, but I'm I'm terrible at it because I'm not an actor anymore. So I'm like selling myself, yeah. but. I did start recently paying attention to Instagram at Moosey Dryer. So, uh, you know, and on Twitter, not so much. Um, but I'm, I don't know why I've just avoided that as much. Uh, not as much as I can, but, you know, as much as more, not as much as most people. Most people are all into it, and I just kind of. And any special plans for the holidays? Um, just going to have a, I'm a dad. I'm going to be with my son and, um, you know, and just kind of, just kind of turn his Xbox off. And uh, enjoy the hall, enjoy each other's company. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's important right now. Well, it's my fault. I bought him in the Xbox last Christmas, so, you know. Well, you're a great dad. Oh, but, but, now he'll, but now he'll spend some time with you. We'll have fun tonight. Nice Thanks to so meet much. you. It's great talking to you. Kate Linder, you never, like, you, you just are always styling. It's unbelievable. Aww. Always styling. I, I appreciate you. Always, that. yeah, for sure. So we're at the Thalians yes, at the yeah. Hollywood Museum. Yes. So what an amazing cause, the Thalians. Yes, mental health and, uh, you know, we have to, to help people with that. And, and we need to give back and we need to keep going. And uh, it's a great cause, so I'm glad to be here. And um, do you have any uh, holiday traditions that you can share with us that anything you like to bake, cook, or anything in particular? Um, you know, I, I just, it's always just nice to be with family and friends and, and see people you haven't seen in a while. And um, Of course, for me, uh, the Hollywood Christmas Parade is a big tradition for me because that 
signifies for me the beginning of the holiday season. So that's my tradition. Yeah, which you did last week, which is wonderful. How was it? Oh, it was great. It, it airs on uh, December 16th. So, yeah. And obviously, you know, you're so beautiful. And so we, we're starting this new thing. We're asking people if they have any beauty or wellness tips that they'd like to share with the audience. Um, my thing is that you just have to keep moving. I think it's really, really important. Um, you know, you have to keep on going. Just put one foot in front of the other. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, where can people find you on social media? If you go to www.katelinder.com, you can just click on the uh, right there. It's got my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's all right there. And are and you're still doing your weekly? Are yes, you still doing? Son, yeah. I, I, I let's see. I did 140 last week. Oh, I guess tomorrow's gonna be 141. Wow, it's so great that you started that. Yeah, I just and I, and I ask people, well, should I quit? And they go, no. So I'm still going. So and that's how long I know we've been doing this for how many weeks? So that's 141 weeks. I started it the first week of the pandemic. So. It's good, and people really need it right now, and it's so helpful. So thanks for doing it, Kate, and have fun tonight. Thanks. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So. You have been so dedicated to the Thalians. It's just wonderful. I know, and I am dedicated to them, and they they love me too. So it's a mutual, you know, admiration society. I'll say that. Uh, I believe that what they're doing is so essential, and even more so now today in these times than ever before. Yeah, it, 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 we really need it, it during these times for sure. That's for sure. Uh, it it shows you that uh, a lot of people they they have they're so sensitive, the men, their mental thoughts and their emotions they it's they have a hard try, time trying to um, really handle it what's going on in the world and it's hard I find it hard for myself sometimes you know I have to just I have to turn the TV off and not listen to the news I have to go and watch a cartoon I'm just joking <laughs> really I, I totally agree with you. And so, um, do you have any, are you going to be singing around town soon? Or well, we can... I was just at, speaking of, I was, I just performed that vibrato, uh, November the 8th, and the, the, it, that was election night, I should have known better, you know, but I still had a great crowd, in spite of it all. And then I'm, oh, on December the 11th, uh, I'm going to be performing, but this is for my niece, Shoshana Payne Phillips and her studio is called La Voix. She's a vocal coach and they're having their annual Christmas, re, you know, uh, recital gala. Uh, that's December 11th. And that's going to be, I think, at the uh, Jew Jewish University up in Bel Air, you know, on Mulholland Drive. Yeah, it's December the 11th. They can go to my website, uh, which is freetopain.com, and get all that information. Love you so much, and thanks for stopping and have a wonderful time tonight. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. We are asking people, what's a wellness or beauty tip that you'd like to share with the audience? I would like, okay, my beauty tip is moisturize, moisturize, moisturize. Because as we get older, our skin gets drier, and we don't, we don't have as much collagen in our skin. And uh, you, you need to, like, and when I say moisturize, you know, something with, with water or minerals in it. And, um, and then use a, an anti-aging cream as well. I use an anti-aging cream, and then I moisturize a lot. I, you know, I spritz on my face. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. For me? I am. I'm a stand-up comedian, so I'm going to do a little, little comedy, try to make the folks laugh, you know. Oh, I love that, and we need to laugh right now. Absolutely. So what an amazing cause this is, the Thalians. Yes, yes. It's very important. Mental health, I think we've all been through something and we're all touched by it. And to be able to uh, bring some laughs and, and raise a lot of money for it, is, it's really what it's all about. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, I am at Jen Kober. Jen, short for Jennifer, J-E-N. And my last name is Kober. It's like sober, but with a K. <laughs> well, have fun tonight and thank you so much. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here. Hi, how are you? Good, nice okay. to see you. I'm going to give you Trisha Byron and Jolie. Oh, I love it. Okay. okay, okay. Hi, everybody. 
I did score. It's a Fisher sandwich. So what an amazing night in honor of Debbie Reynolds and the Thalians. So, so how are you guys feeling tonight? Um, we're feeling, feeling excited. Amazing. We feel great. Yeah, we've been we've been associated with the Thalians for years and years, kind of by osmosis, and now we're sort of picking up the baton and and hopefully putting on a great show and raising money and awareness for mental health for veterans. Yes, absolutely. We're thrilled to be here and to continue on the legacy that um, Debbie began. <laughs> And um, and so tell us also, what what do you think, what tips would you maybe give the audience right now during kind of these tough times, you know, obvious for mental health? Um, well, for myself, I think it's been tough all over the world globally. I think that we've all gone through so much together. And I think that if people just remember to stay present and to be love each other, another, be kind yeah. and... Uh, patient and um, that we're in it together and and if you can show that extra bit of kindness and help then uh, it makes a world of difference and I think we have to remind people that mental health care is health care so it oftentimes falls through the cracks so we go to you know be supported by providers and this is something that it isn't we don't have the resources for so an organization like Thalians has supported from pediatrics to geriatrics and it's just incredible since 1955 this has raised a lot of money and a lot of awareness yeah, and I think Debbie Reynolds was on the cutting edge of it all for sure yeah absolutely 1955 exactly so where can we find you on social media Oh, Ms. Jolie Fisher, M-S-J-O-E-L-Y-F-I-S-H-E-R, on all platforms. Uh, we, this is my husband, Byron Thames. Yes. We're the Hi. band. Hi, Byron. Hi. <laughs> we are the band tonight. Oh, uh, yes, wonderful. yes. It's we. going to be fun. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty terrified. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Fisher and Thames. Fisher and Thames. Fisher and Thames. That's how you can find us on social media. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fun and um, and and happy holidays to all of you. you. Happy holidays well. to you. Thanks. All right. Good. Thank beautiful. You. How are you? Good. So Susan, you're always here with the Thalians to support them. Yeah. Oh, yes. Always with the Thalians. Yes. And my my very good friend, former radio partner Frank Sheftel. He is the president now. And um, it's such an amazing cause, right? Oh, it's a wonderful cause. Um, yeah, I was just saying, I mean, we aren't anything but how we see the world. And, you know, when people need help adjusting you know, how they see reality, that I don't think there's anything more important, really. I don't either. So, you know what, Susan, I have to admit um, something that's been going on that I wanted to talk to you about. Because usually we, you know, we keep it to the events themselves. But I... To make myself happy for my mental health, I have been watching the Brady Bunch episodes. <laughs> well, good, yeah. And um, not only that, but I'm watching some of the, you know, behind the scenes and when you're older. And one thing about you and even the makeover show that you did when you made over the show, you have the most amazing memory, I think, of oh. everybody. I don't know what's wrong with the other ones. They don't remember a thing. You know, it's funny. It, it runs in the family, and my sister puts my memory to shame. So, um, yeah, I do. I, I have a great memory of my childhood. I don't remember what happened last Tuesday, but I do remember, like, total recall of my childhood. Yeah, and it was all good, so it's, it's good to remember. Well, I think so. And, you know, you still... and. And I think you just still spread joy and happiness with that show. Thank you. And you're watching Brady Bunch. Hey, last night I was watching the Beverly Hillbillies. So I, I can relate. And obviously another cause dear to your heart is animals. Well, yes. And, I, you know, that's, it's so funny because I was watching Beverly Hillbillies and it was an episode featuring Ellie Mae, who was my idol when I was a child, and they were celebrating Possum Day. And um, I'm hoping, I'm on a list right now, when, when spring comes, 
I'm actually in a position now where I can I can foster orphaned opossums. I have a special love for opossums, and um, every now and then I work with a, a sanctuary called Spirit of Animals, where we have all kinds of farm animals and horses and a zebra, raccoons, and and we will take in um, the the so many possum babies lose their mama, and. Um, need help and I think they're adorable <laughs> absolutely so where can people find you on social media um, they, they can't because I, I'm usually in Facebook jail uh, you know so if I'm on Facebook hi yeah. well and it's great you are popping up at events here and there and we love seeing you on TV whenever we can so hopefully there may, there's, there's something in the works yeah well, thank you so much and have fun. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You too. So how does it feel to be here honoring Dr. Phil? Oh, wow. It's amazing, you know. To honor Dr. Phil and Robin McGraw is being wonderful and awesome, and uh, it's just a special night. And um, obviously you're a life coach as well. I'm a life coach, and I work with Dr. Phil helping people on the show, and it's, um, it's uh, tremendous that he's created such a big impact through the years and that we're here to celebrate it. Yeah. And, um, and where can we find you on social media? Uh, my social media is Coach Mike Bear, and it's bear like aspirin. So not like grizzly bear. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Okay, have fun tonight. All Thank right, you. Thanks so much. Hi, Hi Lisa. How, how are, are you? you? So good. No, good. Nice you know, to see you. This is wonderful. So you're here. Beautiful. Thank you. You look Special. gorgeous as usual. Thank you. So tell us you're here with Jolie to honor the Thales. Yeah, well, we're here to help, hopefully, help them raise even more money than they've already raised. I think it's an incredible organization and people who were passionate about uh, mental health. And I love, when Jolie told me the story of how it started, that it was around Jane Mansfield's pool, and that they were just like, okay, what hasn't been, what aren't we raising money for yet that really needs it? And they said, mental health and I think that in those years to even think about it was very forward thinking because a lot of people weren't talking about it and by the way the way most people address mental health in those days was you know have another cocktail that was generally it oh you don't feel good smoke another cigarette have a martini try not to think about it and I just I think we don't talk about it enough so I'm glad to be here to help absolutely and obviously Abbott Elementary a hit so so exciting it is beyond anything I could have imagined. It's just a, it's a wonderful, fun time in my career. I'm, I'm thrilled. People keep asking me, well, what's it like? You know, you've had lean times, you've had busy times, you've done some great work, and then you go away for a while, and I'm like, well, I'm always working. But the truth is, to work a long career and then to have this level of su success, it, it beats the other way around. And I'm just happy that Families are watching together of all generations. Teachers are feeling represented and seen and, and respected. So all of that is a bonus. And I love my cast. I love my work. I'm very, very blessed. Absolutely. Well, I know you're very busy and you're going in tonight and you're going to be co-hosting, I think, correct? Yeah, I'm co-hosting with Jolie. So where can people find you on social media? Lisa Ann Walter, L-I-S-A-A-N-N-W-A-L-T-E-R on pretty much all platforms. And I'm mostly on Instagram these days and, you know, having a lot of fun. So come follow. I'm also going to be doing some stand-up dates starting in 2023. I think we're going back to New York for the first one and uh, doing a club that I worked at a lot back in the day, Caroline's in Midtown in Theater District, and then a lot of other events. So when people want to come see me out there in the country, just look on my pages and we'll be listing the, the dates. Oh, wonderful. We will come see you. Thank you so much. All right. Pleasure. Hi, Anne. How are you? How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Good to see you. So you are always here supporting Ruta for the yes. Thalians. Well, she's a wonderful lady. She and Debbie Reynolds and all the wonderful people that have been associated with the Thalians over the years have uh, gotten together with UCLA and are now in uh, supporting Operation MEND for mental health. As you know, she was with Cedars, Sinai, Thalians were there, but the two of them, God rest her soul, uh, Debbie, and all the wonderful people uh, that supported it and, and made it work have been responsible for millions of dollars worth of funds for mental health. 
and we know how important that is to the people, the young people coming back, the men and women coming back from our great military, and their families. So they're there to be of support, to be of help, to be of guidance, and we so very much would like very much if you would help support that too. And while you're helping do that, there is a wonderful place here called the Hollywood Museum. You'll see a lot of people, very familiar people in there and their memorabilia. You will see a store dedicated for the Thalians and every single penny is going to the Thalians. So you'll be able to get some interesting things, interesting memorabilia from a lot of very, very generous people. And we hope to see you here because this is a wonderful, wonderful place. A lot of history. Absolutely wonderful. And do you have um, any tips that you'd like to give the audience, like just for what do you do? What do you think we can do for our own mental health right now? Look for the happy. God bless. This is my daughter, Laura Esmeralda. I okay. named her myself, so <laughs> I continue the Latin meaning of that. Yeah. My Victoria's jewel. It wasn't easy to have her, you know. So um, you're here on, helping to honor Dr. Phil today? Yes, we are huge fans of Dr. Phil. And also the fact that the Thalians um, are supporting mental health. And so I think that's a tremendous thing, especially in this day and age. We need it so badly. And, and Laura is a psychology major. Oh, I love that, Laura. Yeah, I use it. I'm also a real estate agent, so I use it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. It's, it's amazing, yes. So, big fan. I'm so happy to be here. It's an awesome cause with my beautiful mommy. So I know. I, I've been on and off throughout the years. I've come to the Thalians events, and I'm just really thrilled to be here and support. Well, we're happy to have you. Another thing we're doing is we're telling our viewers, is, are there any wellness tips you'd like to give our viewers? Well, she's the... She's the uh, she graduated with a degree. I'll give you mine after she No, gets she has some wise words. I learn everything from her. You first. Okay, I think it's really important to, like, you have to charge yourself up first. I feel like everyone gets so caught up in life and the chaos and work and friends and spouses that it's if you're not filling up your own cup first, you can never do that. I love, I will not miss my morning routine. I will not miss playing with my dogs, going for a walk taking a cold shower it just like sets up my day in the most beautiful way so I have my non-negotiables <laughs> I just try to take the best care I can of my family and myself and all my friends and be there for everybody I think it's really important to be there for people that you care about yeah well, thank you guys so much have fun Thanks. Thank Thanks a lot. So nice to meet you. Hi, nice to see you. So how are you feeling to be honored tonight? Well, it's a little overwhelming, really. What a great organization. When you stop and think that in 1955, they had a vision to do this, and it's still alive and thriving today, and then here we are getting to be part of it. It's pretty overwhelming. Very overwhelming, and to know that we just stepped up and met Rita Lee and Jolie Fisher. I mean, I'm truly overwhelmed and so humbled and very proud. And um, also, what message would you give the audience about, you know, what could we do for our mental health and wellness? You know, one of the things that the Thalians have made a real priority is overcoming the stigma associated with mental illness. And I so hope that we can, you know, come together again on that and let people know that this is something that is really no different than having any kind of other ailment and to look past the judgment, reach out for the help that you need because it's there and you're not alone. Thank you so much and congratulations. Well, thank, thank you. you, we're so very much. proud. Very proud, thank you. So Renee, we're here at the Thalians, just such an amazing event, right? Yes, it's so good. I was a part of it way back before COVID. And so it was just an honor to, to be able to come back out and celebrate this and do this again for a good cause. And um, and do you have any projects coming up that you can talk about? Well, uh, on the side during the downtimes, I was as I've said, I don't know if a lot of like, a lot of fans know. I don't know. I spent 2021 going through breast cancer, 
so I was flat on my back, but I've just celebrated one year cancer free. And so I've been doing a lot of public speaking about that as well, as well as, you know, health and wellness is what not, but I'm also become a speaker's coach. I do a lot, not only motivational speaking, but I coach other speakers. I have a reality series that is in the can actually. And we're just, we've got a few pitches that we're that are coming up that will be followed by a scripted series. So that's what's on the boards for right now. Yeah, which I think is so wonderful. What is like maybe a wellness tip that you can share with people? Well, I was saying, you know, hydrate, 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 drinking water. I'm learning more. I, I've been doing a plant-based cleanse, whereas I, um, I'm not a, a vegetarian or trying to promote being that by any means, but in order to detox my body and to create anti-inflammation, I kind of went all plant-based. And then you start, in, you know, incorporating other things in. And it's been remarkable how much my body has become pain-free especially coming off of a year of cancer treatment. And another, you know, beauty tri tip as I show off my eyelashes is less is more. I think we all know that less is more, although I'm a, you know, go big or go home kind of girl. <laughs> Well, we always love seeing you. Where can Thank we find you. you on social media? You can find me in Renee Lawless on Instagram, uh, Renee Lawless on Facebook, and Ms. Renee Lawless on Twitter. Well, thank you so much. We'll look to see you soon. Thank you. It's so great to be here. I love this charity. It's it's my favorite charity, the Thalians. Yeah. It's wonderful. And and you've been involved with them for many years. Many many years. Yes. It's for our servicemen and women, and they've raised fifty million dollars for UCLA. They have a big wing there for them. So when they come back from the war, they're t taken care of. That's why I love the charity so much. You know. And are, do you have any projects that you can talk about that you're working on right now? Uh, I'm working on a beauty book, uh, diet, fashion, exercise, kind of like Welcome to My Home. It has everything in it. You know, yeah. I love that. Um, is there one tip you can give the audience today? Oh boy, uh, during this time, eat right. Just eat right, exercise, and um, stay six feet away. No. <laughs> Now, I, I go to a lot of parties and everything. If you, ta if you take care of your health, you're okay. If, if you don't take care of your health, you're in danger. That's all. I, I don't think there's any danger right now. But in L.A., you know, they're talking about wearing the masks again, which I don't think is going to go over very well at all. Do you? No. No. So where can people find you on social media? Um, I, Brenda Dixon Actress, and I have two Facebook pages, so you can just find, if you do Facebook, you'll see Brenda Dixon. Well, thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you, dear. So, um, tell us how you're feeling about honoring Dr. Phil and Robin at the Thalians tonight. I'm very excited. They deserve it. They've worked very hard for many years. They've done so much for mental health, for foster care, for families all over the world. So, I'm excited to just sit next to them and share in it. And um, we're asking everyone, what tip would you give people for um, their wellness? It can be health wellness, mental health wellness. What, what tip would you give our viewers? Make sure you sleep well at night every night. Yes. Quality and quantity of sleep is key. And where can people find you on social media? Uh, Sophie on the street on Instagram, Dr. Sophie at drsophie.com. Anywhere. I have a new book that came out called Family Values. It's all over the Dr. Phil show. Help yourself. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you know Dr. Phil? You know, I've met him just because we go to a lot of things like this. I wouldn't say he's my very best friend. He's a very nice man, but, you know, it's always a lot of, hurry up, go here, go here, go here. But he's very nice, and I'm very happy to be here tonight. And um, so do you have any projects that you're working on right now? No, not right now. I'm taking a little break. I, I've been traveling and working all my, all my life. I started as an actor when I was two years old. So um, it, when people come along and they present me with a good, uh, good offer or something like that, I will take it. But uh, right now I've got nothing coming up. And um, any special holiday plans that you guys have? We have a really big family and we have five grandchildren under the age of seven. So that keeps us pretty busy. Very busy. Yes. Yeah. yes. And, um, and how, how long have you been involved with the Thalians? Probably a few years. It's hard to tell. I mean, I've, I've been to them and I can't remember exactly when it started, but they're a great group and I'm very happy to support them. Yeah, they do a lot for our military, so it's great. Yeah, and I spent six years in the military, so I would know. 
I didn't know that. So where, what were you? What were you in? Air Force Reserve. I did not know that. That's like a little, uh, you know, fun fact. I guess it was a lot of work. <laughs> no, I mean, it was a lot of work. I just mean, um, I don't think a lot of people knew because obviously you've been in the business so long. And so we um, love Leave it to Beaver, right? And so it's, I didn't know that. That's wonderful. Well, thank you. Well, thank you for your service. My pleasure. Thank you for mentioning it. Well, happy holidays. You two have fun. Thank you, you too. To thank you. Industry the actors have collected throughout their lives and their careers, so you don't see it in any other shop anywhere else. It's all unique and one of a kind artifacts. And they can also get some Hollywood Museum memorabilia as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And um, you know, I'm asking everyone tonight do you have any wellness tip that you'd like to give the audience? And like maybe kind of a secret that, that helps you with wellness or health? Or Tomorrow is another day. I love that. Yes. I always look forward to tomorrow's. And where can people find you um, for the Hollywood Museum? Oh, thehollywoodmuseum.com. Wow, what a fun evening with the Thalians and all the celebrities. Thank you so much. Happy holidays, everybody. We'll see you soon.